Hi, I'm Joshua from SharePad. In this Getting Started video, let's cover the SharePad navigation basics. This is SharePad as you might expect to see it the first time that you log in. And here we're greeted with a message from our founder, Martin Stamp. This then leads straight into the SharePad homepage below. The first major concept for navigating around SharePad are the teal, blue and green views that you will come across. Teal views are those which are displayed in full screen, such as the currently displayed home page, which can be accessed from this home icon here, and also the market view accessible from the globe icon, and the single page summary accessible here. If I dismiss the single page for a moment, we're taken to a default layout. Here we have a blue view on the left and a green view on the right. Now blue views are typically a list of instruments, such as the FTSE 100 in this case. This could also be the FTSE 350, one of the many other lists available, such as the NASDAQ 100, or even one of your own custom portfolios or watch lists. Green views are typically supplementary information to the currently selected share or the list in the blue view. This could be a chart, some financial information, or even news for the entire list, just as some examples, or it could even be one of the many other options available in SharePad. The last button to mention in the main toolbar is this orange search button here. Clicking this will allow you to search for a share. Now by default, it'll search for a share in your current list. So I'm gonna search for Boo here, and then click OK. And we're taken to that share. But if I try again and search for something that's not in our currently selected list, such as Games Workshop, we'll see that there are no results displayed. We can change this by clicking on the drop down menu here and selecting All Instruments, or alternatively, we can click on the tick box at the bottom and always search All Instruments. We can then click OK and be taken to that share. Next, I'm going to head to Financials for a moment to show you these three buttons at the top here. Clicking on the blue one will maximize the list view, making room for additional columns there. Clicking on the green one will maximize the green view. And here we can see many more years of financial information. If we head back to the split view, we can also adjust how much of one view is shown by clicking on the bar in the middle and dragging in one direction or the other. Within SharePad, there are three mini windows that can be displayed. These are the history window, the alerts window, and the chat window. On the history window, you can see any actions that you've recently taken. You can also see any instruments that you've recently selected. The alerts window will show you when any of your alarms are triggered and will keep a history for the current session. The chat window is a place where you can communicate with us, the support team, as well as your fellow investors. You can change which chat room you're in by clicking on change and then selecting an alternative, with general and support being the most active. Next, at the top of SharePad, you'll see an orange question mark where you can access the help center. Here we're able to find some useful information on any given topic, such as the color picker or the setting menu. Also in the top right, you'll find the layout menu. So at the moment, as previously mentioned, we're on the default layout. If we click on this, we can choose one of our others. And here you can see we've got an option where we can see a chart, a list, and the news at the same time. Finally, in the top right, you'll find the options menu. This is especially useful for finding your account number in account settings, for adjusting any of your preferences, and also for logging out, of course. Become a better investor with SharePad and discover the advantage.